What's going on guys? I'm about to show you a tool that I keep in the toolbox of my truck that is probably the single most used go-to tool that I have. This thing is really awesome and it's super affordable so you're not going to want to miss this. So on many of the projects you've seen me do on this channel, I always require sockets. I require a means to either tighten or loosen or use an impact driver or a torque wrench to tighten or loosen fasteners. The problem that I run into is it's often hard to know exactly what all you're going to need before you get started on a project. And if you have the instructions, you end up carrying all sorts of sockets and different cases of tools around with you. I try to minimize that as much possible because I just don't like carrying a ton of bulk around, especially if I'm going to be doing an install, if they're going to be laying next to me and I have to constantly move them around the vehicle. So I want to introduce you to a really, really cool product that I got about a year and a half ago. And it has been my go-to tool set for so many different things. So what you are looking at here is the Thinwald Nyko socket set. This is really designed to remove lug nuts off of wheels. And it's designed to work with all sorts of different types of wheels, including the wheels you probably have on your RV, which require a thin wall socket. So these are thin walled, which means they have a very, very thin piece of metal here, but they're also impact rated. Now what's cool about this set is that it comes in so many different sizes and the sockets are reversible. So if I have a 19 millimeter or a 17 millimeter, I simply can insert this adapter into the end gives me a half inch here and I can use it as a 19 millimeter. If I need it as a 17 millimeter, simply reverse it and now it's a 17 millimeter. When I am doing things like installing the goose box or if I'm changing the wheels and tires on my truck, I haven't really ran into a scenario where I've needed to carry an excessive number of sockets to do a lot of jobs because typically this covers it, especially if it's wheel and tire related. So when I go out to the RV, if I need to pull a wheel off of the RV, I simply use this. Our little utility trailer, I use this. A vehicle, I use this. If I'm going out to help somebody, they have a flat tire, this is a tool set I go to. Now, I don't just use this with any old power tools. So I started my journey in impact drivers with this DeWalt 20 volt impact driver. It has been through the ringer. You can see it is uh, pretty well used and I absolutely love it. This thing has not failed me in any scenario. And to give you an idea, this is actually what we used to install the goose box on the fifth wheel before we torqued the bolts down. And it works very, very well, very powerful. When you couple these two together, you have an awesome combination. But I recently purchased the big brother. This thing is huge, and to give you a size comparison, it is significantly larger than this original one I had. This video isn't about these tools, but it's to give you an idea of what I use when I'm out in the field, especially if I'm gonna be removing wheels. Now, if you have wheels on a fifth wheel, they're probably torqued down to about 100 pounds. If you have wheels on a truck, they could be torqued down far greater than that. So you're gonna want something that's strong enough to remove or reinstall them. Now, having this set, I'm just going to say this one, my original set gave me the ability to help so many other people as well. So if I ever saw people broken down on the side of the road because they had a flat tire or they were in a situation where they're out there trying to spin a lug wrench, I would often pull over, get this bad boy out and be able to pull their wheel off and install a new wheel in just a matter of seconds. It was really, really cool. I've probably helped at least two dozen folks out in this exact scenario where they're trying to jack up their vehicle, they're trying to you know, work that lug wrench on the side of the road, dangerous situation. I pull up, realize, hey, you know what? I can bust all those lug nuts off in a second. I have the tools to do it. It really doesn't matter what size of lug nut that they have on their wheel because I can take it off with this, um, unless of course they have locking lug nuts and they don't have the key, which has happened a couple times. But nine times out of 10, this has been my go-to set and it works exceptionally well. So guys, I didn't want to make a real long video about this. I just wanted to show you guys the tools that I recommend in different scenarios. The cool thing about this socket set, 37 bucks. That's it. You get a case with it. I keep this with me all the time. And like I said, it gives you so many different customized options for whatever scenario you might be in. So if you guys are camping, if you're pulling an RV, if you have a motor home and you find yourself in a situation of needing to change your tire out, needing to swap the wheel out, and you want a much quicker way of doing it, uh, this 20 volt max half inch impact driver, I believe this thing set me back about $150 for the tool by itself. 
Um, now I think it's a little less expensive. You can probably get the tool by itself for about $100 if you already have the battery pack and everything. If you're buying it all brand new with batteries and all, you're probably going to pay closer to $200, $250. This one right here, the tool by itself is about $160, $170. This is the brushless version. And then the battery packs, I get the largest batteries I can find. Um, I actually have some that are larger than those. If you get the entire kit, you're probably looking about $300. All in all though, there's a lot of different brands of impact drivers like this. Make sure you get it in the half inch size and you can really use this in so many different scenarios that can help you out. 37 bucks on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.